good morning children so i'm aarti here your english teacher and i'm here to explain the chapter 3 for class 5 and the lesson name is robinson crusoe discovers a footprint so children uh, before moving to the chapter i want to tell you who is robinson crusoe he was a a uh, sailor who loved to do voyages so what is the meaning of voyages children um voyages means that um, you know, traveling to different places and discovering different things uh, through ship through uh, traveling through sea making lot of trips that is called as voyages they move they they travel in ships and they discover lot of places um like uh, um, what what are in the islands what are in the uh, forest like that way they will uh, move in the ship they travel in the ship and they uh, they travel the travel in ships is called as voyages so he uh, was a great voyager he traveled to many places and most of the time he spent in traveling so here in this lesson uh, it is a small chapter from his uh, from his uh, travels and experiences uh, how he goes to a island and what all happens in the island that is the main part of the story so one day when he was going in the ship what happens uh, it was there was a big storm there was a big storm in the ocean so due to the big storm you know what is a storm children heavy rain and wind and all like that everything coming together when he was traveling in the sea due to that heavy storm his ship wrecked wrecked means broken broken into pieces so the ship was broken into pieces and he was thrown to the sea so what happens crusoe tries to uh, escape robinson crusoe tries to escape from the uh see and he uh, takes a small raft and he, what all he could save from the ship he uh, saves and he return and he is pushed off he was washed off to a island so what is an island children island is a piece of land uh, covered with water on all four sides so here he was he was thrown out he was washed out to an island and there he stayed many years and no one was there no no life was uh, was inhabited in that island he stayed for many years over there without anyone to save him so he stayed there in the island let us see what all experiences he has in the island So one day when I was going towards my boat I was surprised to see the footprint of a man on the sand I stood amazed I listened I looked around me I could neither hear nor see anything I went higher to look down I went up the shore and down the shore but it was no good I could find no other footprint but that one I went to it again to see if there were any more footprints and to tell if it had been any imagination so what happened children so robinson he uh, finds a footprint when he was walking on the shore when he was going towards his boat he saw a footprint of a man he was very amazed and surprised to see a footprint because he knew that no one were no one lived in the island so uh, to see a footprint over there he was very much shocked and amazed and he was thinking that who could have come there so he what happened he listens carefully whether he could hear any voices or sound like that and he went up the shore on top of the mountain and to see who who anybody he could find out but he couldn't find anything except the footprint so again he was uh, he was had a thought that whether it would be his imagination but it was not his imagination it was sure that it was a footprint on the shore at last i returned home frightened looking behind me every two or three steps mistaking every bush and tree to be a man so what happens he was very frightened uh, whether uh, who had come over there so he uh, moves to his 
cave children you know a cave what is a cave it is a small opening in a rock or something like that if you go inside you can uh, you can see a space so many uh, you know uh, in for in uh, jungle and all in wild area there are a lot of caves uh, where uh, where animals used to live so he he also found out a cave like that and he was living in that cave so due to the fright what happened he moves to his cave very soon he runs back to his cave while running he was watching behind him and uh, to see whether anybody is following he was he thought every tree and bush to be a man and he was very much scared what and he didn't know what to do so when i came to my cave which i called my castle so what happened he comes back to his cave he called the cave as his castle i ran inside it as if i was being chased i do not remember whether i used the ladder or went in by the hole in the tarok which i called the door i ran for cover faster than any animal could so what happened he runs back to his cave he, as he was frightened he he didn't know he didn't know whether how he got inside the cave but very fast he ran to his cave to hide himself from any danger i did not sleep that night the more i thought about was i had seen the more afraid i became i thought it would be one of the savages of the mainland who had wandered out to sea in a small boat so what happened he was thinking about the footprint he didn't sleep the whole night he was more the more, the more he thought he became more frightened more afraid and the only thought came again and again to his mind was that he thought that it would be one of the savages savages are uh, people who who wander about in the islands and kill themselves and eat they will kill themselves and they kill man they kill man and they eat so he was frightened so he thought that some of the scavengers might have come moved from the mainland to a small boat to this island so he was thinking again and again and he didn't sleep the whole night luckily i was not on shore at that time but, uh, but what if he had seen my boat if he had seen the boat he would have realized that someone lived on the island and would soon return with others to kill and eat me so what happened he was thinking again and he was thinking that he was luckily he was not on the shore but anyhow his boat was there and if the savage would have seen the boat he would come he would he would realize that someone was living in the island and he will go to the mainland and bring lot of savages and kill him and eat so this thought was always pricking in his mind and he didn't sleep for several nights he hid himself in the cave for several nights without food and anything so uh, he was very frightened so he didn't come outside the cave at all for many days and so i lay fearful for many days and prayed for protection in doing so i was much comforted and began going out to investigate but even now as i went forward i looked behind me frequently because i was still very frightened so what happened he prayed he prayed for protection he was praying to god that nobody should come and harm him and as he as he was as the days passed he became comforted and he thought that he would go outside and investigate whether anyone lived many one other than him lived in the island so when he went outside he he was frequently turning behind and seeing whether anyone was following or any any uh, any harm would come towards him because he was still very frightened however as i went about for two or three days and saw nothing i became a little bolder i decided to go down to the shore again and examine the footprint once more so what happened after two or three days he was investigating whether he would see anyone living in the island so he found nothing so what happened he became little bolder and he thought that he would go to the shore and examine the footprint little more i decided to measure it with my own foot mark as i came closer to the footprint i realized that it could could not be my footprint because i had not come to this part of the beach since a long time secondly i placed my foot alongside that footprint it seemed larger than my own so what happened 
he went back to the shore and he uh, started to examine the footprint and he th he somewhat thought came to him whether it might be his own footprint but at the same time he he came he realized that he had not come to that part of the beach so he went near the footprint and he examined the footprint he kept his own leg on the footprint but to his amazement he it was longer than his footprint so he again he finalized that that it was someone who had come to the island so it was confirmed that someone had been inherited inhabited that island my my fear returned i went home again believing that there was someone there the island was inhabited so again he confirmed that someone had come to the island and he, other than him somebody is living in the island he confirmed that as he confirmed that he his fear began to return so he went again to his cave and he did, he confirmed that the island was inhabited inhabited means someone was living in that island other than him so he his fear began to rise and he returned back home and stayed there in the cave okay children i hope you understood this lesson it is a small part of uh, crusoe's adventures uh, so there are a lot of uh, chapters in that book from that book a small piece of work is given as a lesson to you so i hope you understood the story children if you are interested in the story you can buy a book of robinson crusoe's adventures and you can read it so that you can come across all the adventures what all happened in his voyages so i hope you understood the story children and um, to this we have come to the end of the lesson so before ending the lesson i want to uh, give you a clear shot of uh, the difficult words which is found in the chapter let us see that new words savages savages means wild people who live in forests you might have seen the red indians like the like sort of people mm, yeah, they will they will uh, they don't know anything they don't know to speak language they have a different language other than us they will kill uh, kill the own uh, means kill man and they eat they are wild people mainland mainland means a large stretch of land so like an island there is a uh, land called mainland also this is a large stretch of land wandered wandered means go from place to place bolder bolder means more confident uh, more strong inhabited means occupied so children i hope you understood these new words please keep in mind and uh, now we come to the end of the session so thank you children